I have the power to talk to you guys about how you get your electricity. Hey guys, I'm Trace, and thanks for tuning in to D News. Seriously, do you know how your power gets to you? Because before today, I knew there were power plants and something with wires, and I flipped on my computer, and bam, power. But it's way more complex than that. We started talking about this after the power went out at the Super Bowl, because we might be geeks, but we really like watching commercials too. And most people were, well, they were irate. Power is sort of like air. You don't miss it until well, you miss it. In 1949, 14% of our national resources went to generating electrical power. In 2009, it was 41%. We're using a lot more power now, and it's only going to grow. We use AC power. Go Tesla! Because it's easier to generate and move around. To make electricity, you spin a coil wire inside of another coil, and you get power. When you make this really big, you get a power station or a power plant. Coal, nuclear, hydroelectric, wind, geothermal, they might seem different, but they all do essentially the same thing. They make a turbine spin inside of a coil. Some heat up water and make steam to push the turbine. Others, like wind and hydro, use wind or water to actually turn the thing. The current coming out of your outlet at home looks like this, and it's made of constantly flowing electrons. It's moving at a specific voltage. Think of it like a speed. Most of North and South America have their power at 120. 20 volts, while the rest of the world used between 220 and 230, which means if we plugged our stuff in, it would fry it because the electricity is going too fast for our things. See, the little electrons are trapped in the system and they want to get out. They want to get out bad. Plugs all over the world look different, but they have one thing in common, an in and an out. The in is from the power plant and the out, as well as that little third one there, both connect to the ground. Electrons want to go back to the Earth. Our planet is awesome at absorbing electricity, so anytime electrons can go to ground, they will. And in a hurry. This whole system is created to send the electrons where we want, when we want, and to get them to the ground at a set and safe rate. So what makes the power go out? Outages happen when those electrons escape unabated. The US power grid is pretty old. Some of the components have been around since the 1960s. And if a tree pokes into a wire at the wrong place, it makes a new path for the electrons to escape. And they are not picky. They will go wherever they can. They'll go through your finger if they have to. When you get a shock, that's just the electrons escaping to the earth through your body. I'm free! This means the power can go out for a lot of reasons. There are six million miles of lines around the country, and if something overheats and melts, the electrons will escape into the ground. If a mouse chews the wires in your basement, it can make them touch each other, and bam! Electrons start to escape. Even solar storms and sunspots can throw tiny little charged particles at our power grid and make a path for jailbreaking those electrons. It is crazy complex. The thing with our system is we suck at storing electricity. Batteries have come a long way in the last decade, don't get me wrong, but they, they still, they stuck. And since we can't store all that electricity, we have to make it constantly. The flow needs to be adjusted minute to minute. If everyone turns on a light at the same time, the power plant needs to spin that turbine faster and faster to make the power for everybody. But if it's already spinning as fast as it can, what do we do? Well. We're still trying to figure that one out. It's really complicated. While learning about this to share it with you, I kept getting bogged down in the details, the dozens of possible strategies, the regulatory ideas. I feel for you guys that work on this. This is rough stuff. Do you have any ideas how we can make power better? I mean, we know we can build wind and solar and make it more sustainable, but what about making it better? What can we do? Get empowered. Leave some comments and share this around. See if you can shock us. Turn on your thinking cap. Use other power puns. Thanks for tuning in to D News. We love that you're watching. Keep tuning in twice a day as long as the power's on, and we'll see you around.